Hello beautiful people of the internet and welcome to another video at Black Sheep Blog. Today we are going to be stuffing cash envelopes. Yes, you heard me right here on my channel. I am now going to be doing some cash envelope stuffing. This is my first time doing a cash stuffing envelope. Cash envelope stuffing? Uh, I, I don't really know. Cash stuffing envelope? Cash envelope stuffing? I don't know. This is my first time doing this, so we'll see how it goes. I normally just keep all my money in the bank rather than take cash, huge amounts of cash out, especially because I don't want to walk around with like large chunks of cash. However, I did want to try it because, in, like I said in my last video, I did move into a new place, so I'm trying to stay extra organized and extra on top of everything. So I figured, why not try it? see how it goes if it doesn't work for me i tried i'm really excited though i think it'll work out nicely and it'll be really interesting to see like how my money shifts or how i change spending my money um, i'm hoping to be able to save a lot throughout this process and really just kind of get a hold on my savings and spending habits so I will definitely keep you guys updated throughout the process of whether this system actually works or not. Obviously, it's not going to work for everybody. I don't know if I'm one of those people yet or not. We will see. But I'm definitely willing to try and willing to take a chance if it means having better spending habits. So, I'm excited. Enough of me blabbering on. Let's just go ahead and get into the video and start stuffing those envelopes. So I actually lied, I am going to be doing a voiceover because I really didn't completely, thoroughly think that everything was going to go out 100% planned. So this is my binder, I recently just got it specifically for keeping track of my finances as far as the cash envelopes go. However, as you can see in the beginning there, it's... It doesn't close when I have my envelopes all inserted in. It's super wide. The envelopes actually crinkle my paper. They dent the paper. And it just, they do not work. You can even see that they don't fit all six rings. And I have no idea what happened. I specifically ordered an A size. And like you can still see there's a ring missing on the top. So, I'm going to scratch these cash envelopes for now. I've already ordered a new pair or a new set of cash envelopes because I think I'm going to take a whole different approach to my envelope stuffing because originally I had just kind of laid out all my bills and was going to kind of just save up the money every month before the bill in order to pay for it. But I think instead now I'm actually going to be doing more of a sinking fund kind of cash envelope stuffing and switching how I do my finances. I will say if you are new to cash envelope stuffing, please do your research. I obviously didn't and I am now paying more money to not only buy envelopes, but also am like re-watching re so many other videos just so I can get a better idea of the concept because I truly think, you know, I can, you know, do a better job of this. So I just kind of laid out um, my bills and what I needed, um, half of it, so that I would could be able to pay it since I am paid on a bi-weekly schedule. I didn't organize all of my funds, so every time I get paid there will be money left over um, that will not be included in the cash envelope stuffing. And I specifically did this just as like a you know, emergency fund, a second savings, really just something to be able to fall back on, if you will, um, just because I don't think I need to organize my entire check every two weeks when I just need to make sure I have enough to not only pay my bills, but put money aside. So that is kind of the idea around 
that list over there. Um, my first time doing this, it wasn't too bad. Um, I really didn't expect a lot out of it either. But I'm like I said earlier, I'm definitely going to be changing it up. I'm not going to be having the zipper anymore because that plastic piece is what really uh, makes my journal huge and unable to use. So I definitely went ahead and ordered some new ones, something that's a little more simplistic, doesn't have the that plastic zipper, and hopefully something a little more sturdy because um, I wasn't really too impressed with the quality on these uh, plastic ones here. I don't get me wrong, I love the you know very metallic blue pink color that comes out of them. Um, I just could tell they weren't going to last me as long as I wanted, so um, I decided to go with something a little uh, different. And I don't know the quality of these next ones, but I'm a little more hopeful, um, and hopefully something will brighten up more. But I will be using these for now until I get my cash, my new ones, my new cash envelope ones. Um, and these still work, so I'm not... I'm not mad at them like I'll still use them and like I said earlier I will be switching up how I do my cash envelope stuffing definitely gonna invest more research into this and hopefully get a better system because although this system is you know really good it definitely needs tweaking and it definitely can be improved so I'm excited for it I'm ready to take on the challenge and definitely going to keep track of how my finances switch and I do also plan to do that in this binder so I do have a bullet journal if you go through my channel you will see all my bullet journaling videos and how I kind of organize my content and life and work all in that planner um, but I did want to just specifically get something different um, just because I know that a lot of people that do cash envelope stuffing actually have like binders for this. So um, I definitely, you know, wanted to, you know, correlate with that as well. And also because I tend to take my journal around with me quite a bit. And if I'm going to, you know, have money in my journal, I don't want to be walking around with it. Um, consistently throughout the week so I did went ahead and uh, get something separate it is an a5 journal I got it on Alibaba I think that's what it's called uh, if I can find it I'll definitely link it below but I really haven't touched it I haven't done anything with it because I am so new to the binder world of planning that I'm not even sure like how to do it as well as the cash envelope stuffing so I'm gonna try my best to kind of keep it cute and girly but as you can see for my first like actual real page in my planner it's so basic uh, there's no creativity like whatsoever so definitely hoping to improve my my uh, binder aesthetic and kind of get it to match up to also my bullet journal as well but again another reason why I decided to keep it separate was because my binder or my planner doesn't have rings in it so it would be really hard to get the money in the planner without it growing so large to where it just becomes so heavy and every you guys already know how that goes so I did just, you know, invest in something that I could, you know, be able to add to and hopefully continue with. Um, so like I said earlier, I did have a little money, le um, money left over. I'm not trying to, you know, organize everything, but uh, this money will be left over as like, this one is also just for savings. This will be added to every week, but the remainder of the money will also be kind of like an emergency fund. Because I'm sure like how everybody else has, if your account does go negative, you are charged. And I do not want to be charged for anything uh, if I miss a bill or anything like that. So I'm definitely going to keep extra money in there just in case I get like accidentally charged or I forget about something. Because I really don't want to go into the negative at all. But I'm so sorry for talking your guys' ear off. Um, that was kind of my spiel. I'll see you guys at the end of the video.
here after. Bye! As always, if you guys want to show support, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell notification and to definitely drop some comments below about a theme that you want to see in December. I know it is the holidays and most people gravitate towards a holiday theme. However, I do want to switch it up a little bit. I want to see um, some of the theme ideas that would be interesting for December. But who knows? December is coming so extremely quick, so we'll see exactly how this goes. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. You know I love every single one of you guys supporting me and watching my videos to the very end. Again, check out my blog. All of my social media will be linked in the description box. And definitely stay tuned for more videos. Peace!